Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Alex Witt. We're getting this breaking news coming to us from Alaska, where we're being told that Alaska Governor Sarah Palin has made the announcement just a short time ago that she will not be seeking re-election for a second term as the governor of Alaska. This news coming into us via uh, Politico. Again, Alaska Governor Sarah Palin has told all her associates she is not going to re uh, rerun for election there as governor of Alaska. Uh, this would free her up to pursue a White House bill, bid in 2012. Let's see what CNBC's chief Washington correspondent John Harwood thinks about this news. John, a good afternoon to you. Thanks for joining us on the phone. Uh, hey, do you Alex. think that is what's behind all of this? Uh, I think at a minimum, Sarah Palin's preserving her options to run for president in 2012. We've seen a similar announcement from Tim Pawlenty in Minnesota, who was one of those uh, who uh, was a runner up for uh, John McCain's running mate uh, to Sarah Palin. Uh, you have infinitely more flexibility uh, if you have the ability to raise money uh, to travel when you're not the governor, especially if you live in a state like Alaska. Sarah Palin now has the national profile. She has the ability to raise money. Uh, and so you have to think that Sarah Palin is weighing uh, her ability to overcome some of the baggage she would bring to that race and potentially run in 2012. Okay. Uh, joining the conversation right now is MSNBC's David Schuster, also on the phone from Washington. David, I want to throw these numbers by you. Uh, just last month, there was a CNN Opinion Research Corporation poll that showed Palin as the presidential co-favorite uh, the Republican Party right now, the Republican electorates, electorate, this along with uh, Mitt Romney and Mike Huckabee, those three really leading the pack right now, again, according to this one poll last month. Uh, what do you make of that? What do you make of her viability as a presidential candidate possibility for 2012? Well, right now, I don't think she's viable at all. I mean, um, she obviously she can raise a lot of money for the diehard conservative base. But um, when when you have a candidate who has gone through the kind of thing that she's gone through, and that is you have Republican strategists, top Republicans in the party uh, across the country who are openly saying that she's even worse a candidate than people thought, that she's not smart, that she has problems with the truth. I mean, that's not the position uh, you want uh, somebody to be in uh, trying to prepare a national campaign. And the fact that matter is the wounds are still very fresh. And you're seeing, for example, just in the Vanity Fair article that we saw that Todd Purdom wrote, there is sort of an open war on Sarah Palin by elements of the Republican Party. Um, and at a certain point, she has to she has to figure out a way to let that stuff sort of burn out before I think she's going to be able, in a position to be able to put together a national campaign. You know, uh, John, I want to talk about her standing right now in the state of Alaska. This is a woman who enjoyed 90 percent approval rating polls there within her home state for quite some time. That has dropped precipitously. The numbers right now of a, a approval rating in the lower mid-50s, you know, the average politician wouldn't think that's bad. We know that uh, the president's approval rating since the highs, highs, they're just post his being inaugurated and put into office. They've dropped to about the, you know, mid-50s range. You know, and that's considered good. But how much does Sarah Palin need to reach out not only to her Alaskan constituents, but others across this country if she wants to make a tremendous bid as president of the United States in 2012? No, she's got an awful lot of work to do, Alex. I agree with David's assessment. I think at this moment she is the best known of the candidates. I think that's what you're seeing reflected in the poll that you cited. Uh, but I think she is not especially viable as a uh, true heavyweight contender for the nomination. That doesn't okay. mean it can't happen yeah. over the next couple of years. But I hey. think at this moment it's a very difficult road for her. 